Okay, so today we're going to discuss Ohm's Law and how we use it. How do you solve for it? We have to figure out what formulas we're going to use, but we have to know what are we looking for. Let's go over it. A couple things I want you to understand. Volts is going to be a designation for E. Okay? I will be a designation for amps. And P will be a, a designation for watts. See, we need, to, we need to know two of these variables in order to find the third. So if we're looking for watts, we need to know amps and volts. If we're looking for volts, we need to know amps and watts. And if we're looking for um, amps, we need to know watts and volts. Here is what we have a pie chart. I like to teach this pie chart because it gives people the understanding that if I'm looking for something, all I have to do is cover something up. And as long as I take those two variables, I can figure something out. So it's kind of simple like this. So if I wanted to know, if I wanted to find P, okay, if I want to find P, I would cover up P. This means I would have I and E that I would be looking for. But see, there's a little trick with this pie chart. Okay, this is our pie chart. Our pie chart kind of works like this. P is equal to I times E. So this little line here will stand for our multiplying symbol. If I wanted to find I, I could cover up I, and I would need watts and volts. So let's do this. We cover up the I, we take P, and we use this little line as we put the divide symbol in. So to find I, we're going to take watts divided by volts, and that will give us our amps. Same thing if we flipped it to the other side. If I needed to find volts, I would divide watts times amps, and that would give me my volts. So this is what we have here. We have a divide, a divide, and a multiply. If you use this and you just cover up one symbol, you can find, but you need these other two to figure it out. If this doesn't work with you and you don't care to use it this way or, or have it, because I normally tell students, write it in your code book. Your code book can go with you when you take your, uh, when you take your license exam. So if you're using your code book and you have this symbol written in it, you should have it with you at all the time. Remember, this is the basics. So if I want to take and I want to figure this out, I can do a couple different things. And I'm going to write some formulas up on the board for you to understand. P equals I times E. Okay. Volts E equals P divided by I. And if we're I equals P divided by E. Regardless how you want to look at this and how you want to use the symbols, it's up to you. You just have to understand that when solving for Ohm's Law, you need two to find the third. Hey, we're going to be doing more videos on series parallel circuits. We're also going to be doing videos on load calculations for dwellings, single family dwellings. Uh, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell and I'll keep you up to date. Have a great day and thanks for watching.